Hi guys, this is Filipino Teacher in America. I'm back again for my vlog. And I want to greet everyone, belated Merry Christmas, and advance Happy New Year. I hope everyone is safe and free from any illnesses. So this is Teacher Agnes again. would like to say please subscribe on my subscribe on my channel please like and send some comments and suggestion so um we can uh, make a content that is helpful to those who are willing to work here in america especially as a teacher so for this afternoon um uh, topic uh I, i'm gonna uh talk about the evaluation process the evaluation of our transcript of record or the TOR. So just like in my previous blog, vlog, uh, I discussed about the TOR evaluation. So if you undergo or if you go to an agency there in the Philippines, they will be the one to do the evaluation or they will send your transcript of record to the evaluator here in America. Those who are like, um, legit and uh, uh, legally doing the evaluation because there are some like bogus, you know. So um, they send it to a legit transcript evaluator and as an applicant you are going to pay like uh, 350 or 400. So on my part or in my case, I did, uh, I let the agency do it for me because I really don't have the idea of doing it. So I think I paid $350 during those time. And what I send them is my, I think, copy of my diploma. The original plus a copy of my diploma and the original copy of my uh, transcript of record. And uh, they send it to international evaluator for our, for my transcript of records so why why did uh, or why do you need to be to be evaluated or why do you need your transcript of record to be evaluated it's because they want to see if our education here in the philippines or in the philippines is the same as the education or the curriculum that they have in the united states specifically with our um course I myself graduated a bachelor in elementary education, so they want to check, they want to evaluate if it is uh, like an equal um, curriculum with the U.S. Uh, curriculum or if it is U.S. equivalent uh, course or um, subjects. So I paid $350 to the agency and then the uh, evaluator here in, here in America will gonna um, look at it, process it, uh, check uh, each of the subjects and check if it is really equivalent with the US uh, curriculum. And so maybe after three weeks, they will send it back to the agency and the agency will inform you uh, of how uh, the process has been done and uh in my case the the evaluated transcript of record was only or lasted only for three years i did not uh i didn't know that uh it has an expiration date or it expires so before the third year i uh sent an email to the evaluator i will uh let you see how it is look like so i will i, I send an email to the evaluator of my transcript of records and ask if i can renew it or if i can get a copy because the agency um gave us the copy but were able to give it to our school so i asked the evaluator to uh, if i could get a copy even it if it is a soft copy via email and I paid $75 uh, for that. And then I didn't know that uh, it has an expiration date or it expires. So after like October or December, I asked again the evaluator if I can uh, renew it. And then they said that I can no longer renew it because it's already expired and they don't have 
my record in their database. So what I did was I look up in the internet and search for a legit evaluator. And then I found out that it's only like $250 to have your transcript of records evaluated. So if you guys are really uh, interested to apply here in America, you can just do it by yourself. Check in the internet or the website that can uh, that that are really doing the uh, transcript of record evaluation, and then you can save your money because um, you know we really need to save money. And then just browse the internet, check if it is legit evaluator, and then you can save money for that. So the evaluation, uh, the evaluated transcript of records is just like this. So this is the one that I that I got from my evaluator. Yeah, uh, this one. This is like the um, summary. This is my uh, college uh, evaluated uh, overall evalu evaluation, and I think this lower part is my master's degree um subjects and this one this part these are all the subjects that were evaluated my undergrad uh, no, no no my bachelor's degree in the philippines so this is how it looks like when uh, you have to um uh, have your transcript of record be evaluated by a legit evaluator here in america there are a lot of uh, evaluators here in america one is uh, the Center for uh, Applied Research, Evaluation, and Education. And one, there is another one is like a Sun Suntron, I think, which my friend told me. And then there is another one like USA uh, um, Evaluator. So you can just search in the internet which evaluator are legit and then uh, there are um, like procedures there on how to do it by yourself so you can save money. There are like uh, ways on how to do it and then you are going to pay it by credit card or by debit card. So it's just easy as one, two, three. You just have to, you know, uh, just read the rules and how to do it by yourself, you know. Be so because um, you can have it earlier or you can have it uh, before you apply to the agency because it will cost you, to the agency, it will cost you $350. And if you do it by yourself, then maybe you can save like $100 or $150. But make sure that it is a legit evaluator so that uh, it will not be like put your uh, transcript of record in a waste. So... This, this is uh, one of the most important uh, documents that you need to, to have when you are planning or when you are interested to apply for a teaching job here in America. To check if your profession, if your course, if your education is equivalent to the U.S. That is the purpose of having your transcript of record to be evaluated. And that's it for now, guys. And I hope you were able to uh, get some tip or uh, like a, some uh, important ideas about this vlog for today. And until next time, bye. Be safe, everybody. And uh, I hope everybody will uh, enjoy their New Year celebration. Be safe and God bless everybody. Bye. So um, the content of the evaluation, evaluated um, transcript is like um, they will do the equivalency for your um, education there in the Philippines. Because as I remember, my uh, school, we have a numerical grade. And in here in America, they have the letters like A, B, C, D. And then they will have to uh, like put there 
the number of uh, semestral credits and then beside it is the US grade which is la which is the letter like B A A plus or C and then they will do the grand total of the units that you have or the credits they call it here credits because I remember in my school we use it the uh, units how many units do you have in this semester but in here they call it credits how many credits semester credits so I think uh, the word changes but uh, it means the same and then uh, at the front of the evaluated transcript the evaluator will gonna put an equivalency statement uh, like that this person completed an elementary and secondary education in the Philippines or whichever country you completed it. And then they will put the year of your graduation. And then they will put it there that uh, she has or he has the uh, US equivalency of high school diploma and that this person attended this kind of school or this school and she graduated in the year like 1993 or 2003 with a degree of bachelor in elementary education which is equivalent to U.S. Uh, bachelor of education degree and then if you have a master's degree they will also do that that this person continue to study at this school of graduate studies with the Master of Arts in Teaching Mathematics in the year, let's say 2006 or 2007, with a total credits of like 42 credit of graduate studies so that is how the uh, evaluated transcript of record look like so for me i have four copies of this two copies for my bachelor's degree and two copies for my master's degree and one summary like the one i uh, showed you a while ago so this is the summary of uh my evaluation at the front they put it at the front i just printed it myself because uh, i just asked for the um soft copy of it since the one that uh the agency gave me i gave it to my school because they required us to submit one copy and therefore i, I need to have myself for for my file you know everything every document that you, that you submitted to uh, in an agency to your school or whoever you submitted a document you must always have a copy that is why you must have your original copy and make at least three more copies for your file and if in case your school will gonna ask for a copy then at least you still have uh, something that is left for you for your own file because it is really important to have your own file of documents and one uh, important tip that i'm gonna give you is that for every documents that you submit to like a school or an agency you can uh, all you must have to put a transmittal uh, like a transmittal letter or like a front uh, a front page of the documents what is inside that uh, documents like this pertinent papers of Mr. So-and-so or Ms. So-and-so, like number one, uh, transcript of record for number two, transcript of record for my master's degree, number three, uh, um, NBI certificate, number four, li PRC license, number five, uh, birth certificate, number six, uh, copy of good standing from PRC, number seven, uh, like um, certificate of uh, good standing so you must always have a front page and on that front page you must have the summary of what 
what documents you submitted to the agency, to any person that uh, asked for your documents. So at least you have the copy of those papers. But that is very important so that when you check it, you can just see, oh, I already submitted this and this and this and this. So at least they will not, you know, like uh, be asking you again and again of those documents because nowadays it's really hard to uh, get a, another copy, especially this time around that we are in the pandemic time or year. So it's really hard to secure or uh, get another copy for our important documents. So make sure that you have uh, another copy for all your documents, make a three Xerox copy for each of your important documents. So you will not be like, um, uh, be looking for that anywhere else. Okay, that's it for that. That's it that I want to share with you guys. And I hope you, you this this video will help you.